So I'm going to show you how to make a very quick and easy hidden object game. It's not very advanced, uh, but all the tools that you need to make it are free, and it's very easy to make. So I'm in Unity now, uh, and the one thing I need to make it, uh, the one asset I need, is called Fungus. Uh, now Fungus is actually an asset for making um, like adventure games, like visual novel kind of games, and not f really for finding um not really for you for creating hidden object games but that's what we're going to do with it because it can do that yeah, so you want to go to the asset store which uh you can get to by going into your unity menu uh going to window and clicking asset store and then you get this uh window <laughs> and then in there you just type fungus games and then fungus will come up and it'll be the page that I just had on there uh, click download and import and it will import it into your project I've imported everything for now you don't really need to import the examples folder I did uh, I didn't actually download it from the asset store because sometimes you'll find that the fungus website has a more up-to-date version than the asset store so if you search for fungus games in google and go to the website and download it and import it separately then uh, you might have a newer version but at the moment it's not a newer version so you could just get it from here uh, so what else do I need? I need fungus and I need a folder of I'll call it resources I need some pictures, I need my hidden objects and I need uh, some scenes, uh, things to hide my objects in. Now, for now, I'm going to keep this simple. And each scene, I'm just going to try and find a picture of my friend's cat. So, this is a very poorly cut out picture of my friend's cat. Uh, you want to probably spend much better time, uh, well, much more time, looking for, well, improving these cutouts. You can see these are quite poor. I actually did these on my phone with. Uh, with an app uh, that lets you take pictures and then create a blank background so you've got this Pung or PNG whatever you want to call it you want to spend some time in Photoshop probably doing it a bit better uh, and you also need some backgrounds so I've got some backgrounds this is a gig Wimbledon uh, some kind of concert and so I'm going to take these I'm going to hide the cat in them uh, and then it's up to people to find the cat so the cat's called Lily, my friend's cat so back to Unity uh, let's have a look I've got these two the fungus um, directories which were created when I imported the fungus asset and I've got this resources uh, tab the uh, resources folder sorry which I'm going to put in these images so let's create another folder in here called cat you can call it uh, well what hidden objects or whatever you want to hide let's just drag them in uh, and then I'm going to create another folder call it backgrounds and then I'm going to take these pictures you've probably got more than I've got actually let's just copy them into backgrounds and so there we go so the next thing I'm going to do is start to create these scenes put the cat in them uh, and then once someone finds the cat they can click the cat or press the cat if they're on Android and then they move to another scene. Okay, now Unity is set up. I have the two directories uh, which Fungus created. I've got one which has got resources in it, which is the backgrounds and the cat. And now I need to create another folder for the levels. So I'll call it well, I'll call it scenes. Uh, and now this scene, I'm going to go to File, Save Scene as. Uh, I'm going to call it level 1 
I'm going to build our first level now and then you can just copy and paste the level if you like and just loop through them so you can just copy and paste the level and then change a few bits like where the cat is and what the background is so to create the level the first thing you need uh, actually I seem to be missing a main camera yeah that was odd so uh, if, if you've not got a main camera in the hierarchy just go to file new scene uh, so I've got a camera now I'll just save over the old level. There we go. So the first thing you want to do is use fungus to create what's called a view. So tools, fungus, create view. Uh, and now the view is where your scene's going to go. Uh, the green bit of the view is what you'd see on kind of like large phones. I think they call them 16, 9 phones. And this bit here is if someone's playing on a small device that uh, is kind of more square, is it? Four three is that the kind of the ratio? Uh, they wouldn't see this green bit. So you want, you might want to make sure that your clickable object is in this bit here. So I've created the view, uh, and what I will do is I'll put a picture, a background into the view. So I'll take these rockers rocking out. Uh, and I will make that size of the view. And now this won't work because if you press play this is what the person who's playing the game will see and that's no good uh, so what we need to do next is create a workflow and what the workflow will do is it will make sure the view is the whole of the screen and it will wait until somebody's clicked the object if they click the object they will say the workflow will say well done next uh, next level so we want to go to tools fungus create Flow chat. So I've been calling it a workflow, it's actually a flow chat. <laughs> and so, um, what a flow chat does is because what Fungus is for usually is visual games, like visual novels, and you usually find that visual novels have this big flow chart of if a character says this, then you get, do you know, do you want to punch them in the face? If you do, then we'll, the character will hate you, and if you don't, then the character will love you, and then there's this massive flow chart. But in our game, there's a very small flow chart of create the view, wait to see if the thing's clicked, if the cat's clicked, move to the next level. Uh, so we have this flow chart, but now we want to edit it. So if you go to Tools, Fungus, Flow Chart Window, you can edit the flow chart. So I'm just going to put this next to here. Uh, there isn't much we need to do on this so don't worry that is taking up quite a bit of space because we can get rid of it soon um, so we want to create the view, we've got the flow chart make sure this block is clicked and then click the plus down here click camera and move to view uh, now this bit's important down here where it says target view you drag the view that we want it to move into so drag that all the way down here and now if you press play it still won't look right it'll do that which is okay if you want it to do that in your game as you see it kind of bounced uh, so if you change that to zero the duration here to zero and then click play that didn't work because I forgot to stop stop it playing when I changed it so let's try it again zero click play it's there straight away now uh, and so the next thing we need to do is add the cat to the view so to add the uh, the cat we go to tools again fungus create and then clickable sprite because that's what the cat's going to be it's going to be a right that you can click and now so it's a massive mushroom uh, what we want to do is change the sprite here from mushroom to one of the cats so I will pick this cat and then you probably want to do shrink it down so that because that's quite easy to find when it's massive uh, and then hide that in your scene somewhere so 
uh, how about I make it quite small and then I'll put him on top of the box there and then this little green box in here, I don't know if you can see that, maybe if I zoom in a bit uh, so if I click the clickable sprite this little green box is where when it's clicked it will be recognised as clicked. Now that's quite small because if someone clicks uh, the cat's chest it's not going to register so you can just change the size of that uh, in this box collider here so uh, well not 19 how about 8 how, how about 7 6 no 7 7 yeah, no, 7 9 so uh, if anyone clicks there they found Lil the problem is at the moment it doesn't do anything. Even though it's a clickable sprite, you click it, nothing happens. But that's because there is uh, nothing in the flow chart to to do anything if it's clicked. So back in the flow chart, press the plus, and it puts a new block. Uh, and now over here, with the block clicked in the inspector, you want to change the execute on event to sprite object clicked and then you can call this uh, what do you want to call it cat clicked in fact while we're here we can call the other one game start so this is a very simple flow chart in fact nothing even flows you just got the game start and that moves the view uh, into focus and cat click which doesn't flow it just waits for someone to click the cat and then when the cat is clicked it will do whatever you tell it down here so we click plus uh, whatever you want so how about we have a narrative where you say well done you found the cat so now if you press play uh, can't see the cat there we go nothing seems to be happening now that's because uh, I've put cat clicked but it doesn't actually know what the cat is I have to drag the clickable sprite which I'm going to change to clickable cat just so I know what it what it is uh, I have to drag that into the flow chart so the flow chart Click cat clicked, <laughs> and where it says clickable object, drag the clickable object from the hierarchy down here, then press play. There's me speeding ahead, getting it wrong. And now, oh, there we go. Well done, you found the cat. And there's all kinds of other options, uh, so you can get a character to say, Well done, you found the cat. Um, whatever you want and then you might want to uh, flow load scene scene name level 2 and so what will happen now is that when it's uh, completed it will load level 2 and that will break because we've not got a level 2 so what we do is we start this, go to resources, uh, no nope, not resources at all, go to scenes, copy level to 1 and then we'll duplicate that by pressing command D um, and now if we do it, doesn't work and that is because I've not added level 2 to the, uh, the build settings so I want to add both of these to the build settings in Unity file oh no, I've already done that, so just click play now it should load the scene well done, you found the cat Okay, so 
Okay, so the reason it didn't work was because I've not saved this scene. Um, if you don't save the scene and you duplicate it, you're going to get a blank scene. So I've just saved it now, then I've duplicated it. And now if you press play, uh, click the cat, load on your phone the cat, and it loads scene 2. Now what you want to do is go into scene 2. So I'm in scene 2 now. Looks the exact same at the moment. Uh, but just delete the picture of the cloud of the crowd. Uh, add a different background. How about Wimbledon? Uh, make that the same size as the, the view. And then you might want to delete... Uh, the, the cat. So if you delete the clickable cat, you then need to go into tools, fungus, create, clickable sprite. You don't really need to delete it, you could just change it, but just to give you an idea, uh, switch that for a different cat. So how about Will being asleep this time? Uh, Move that into the sprite renderer, make a midgy. You can make her as small as you want, or as big as you want, whatever. I'm not going to do it now, really. I'll make a massive. Uh, don't forget to change the green box by clicking, changing the box collider size, so whatever you want. And then you'll also need to, if you've created a new clickable sprite, you'll need to make sure you drag that into your workflow object here because it'll say missing because you deleted it. Uh, why has that not worked? There we go. Uh, and then you also need to change the level to level 3. And then you get the idea. You just keep on doing it and doing it and doing it. Um, you can make it more advanced. I've added a menu screen in mine. Um, you can, and I've made Lil a character that says, "Well done, you found the cat." Instead, she says, "Well done, you found me." Uh, and I mean, you can do all these things. In, I'm not going to do them now. If anybody wants me to add any other bits, I can um, create new videos. But I just wanted to get the very basics across, really.